not because you care about them, but because you want to get something out of the group for yourself. And you will avoid being in the group where the people are dumber than you are, and you don't want them to benefit from your knowledge and you don't get anything. That's a transactional relationship. But when you're friends, you're in the relationship because you say that I benefit because other people benefit from me. I help my friend not because of what I'm going to get, but from the benefit of what I give. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, so the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported in the hadith sahih. She said to him, why do you keep talking about that old woman? Who's she talking about? Khadija bin Khuwaili. Now you and I would say, man, you can't be talking about Khadija like that. Who is that old woman? She didn't want to say her name. He just said, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Anybody know what his response was? The Malik moved to save himself from being caught. <laughs> sister, any sister. Why, why, what did the Prophet say to him? Time to get back in the study. Uh, he Diego! It was actually one of the first times that uh, Aisha really uh, said that the Prophet was actually mad at Aisha. Uh -huh. Saying that uh, Come on. she was the one that you know supported him during the boycott. He said she believed in me what no one believed in me. That's a relationship. The people that you meet now, Wallahi, you don't know what you're doing for some of them. They see you, you're sitting somewhere, and you say, let's go have a cup of coffee. That day they was really down. They didn't know, they, maybe they, their money didn't, wasn't right. They, 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 their paper, they lost it on, 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 with, on the, the memory of what they, they all knocked out. And you say, hey, come on, let's just have a cup of coffee. We'll have to be we have a conversation, and it, it restores them. Or maybe you have an idea. Anybody know the story of Yahweh? The, the search engine company. Yeah? <laughs> Some of you are old enough to be like, Yahoo, isn't that a, like a chocolate food break? No. Yahoo, the company. Anybody know, anybody know their story? Yeah? They started out as friends in college. And I would concede that when they were sitting and having their conversations and saying, you know what? I believe that the World Wide Web will be something that can be used to benefit people outside of the military industrial complex. Back then, that's what those people could navigate secretly on the web because there were no search engines where you could find and connect one another unless you knew the other person. They said, you know what, man, we staying up late at night talking and, and thinking about this, and they start doing their little work. I'm sure they missed a lot of homework. Late to class, overslept. But they built a relationship that said, I believe in something that if we work on it, it's going to transform the way people use information all around the world. By the way, anybody know what Yahoo stands for? You can Google it, stop and look what you're talking about. Sorry, uh, just, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to take one of your jokes. <laughs> well, alhamdulillah, it is out of the power of their relationship that they use what they were learning to transform their society. The Prophet وسلم, is reported to have said, the Umar, living his life as if you're trapped. His companion, Ali radiallahu said, therefore you should plan as if you're going to live for how long? Forever. And pray as if you're going to die tomorrow. I'm going to challenge you today 
in the 33 seconds I have left. With your faith, those relationships that you will build in Amal Salihah, to commit yourselves to create from the great gifts that you have, math, science, engineering, law, uh, media, everything. Everything. Not just to be people who sit around and say, I'm going to make a lot of money. That's not what they, the, the guys at Yahoo, that's not what they were thinking. They were thinking with what we've been given as a gift, our intellect, our free time, we will be able to harness that to transform society. And so today, the survey that has been distributed is a tool that we're using for you to help plan what the future of the Muslim community will look like in Northern Virginia as a template for us to think about and look at and survey cities and universities around the country to identify what is our plan as Muslims to enjoy what is good and prohibit what is evil. I'm closing. How many of you have heard of a man named Andrew Young? Andrew Young. Raise your hand high. Don't be shy. I'm not going to ask you any more questions after that. You say, I know Andrew Young. You got it. Andrew Young was a student at Howard University where I graduated, where my parents graduated, where my wife went to school. And she did graduate. I know some of you were like, you graduated. That Andrew Young became the first ambassador to the United Nations who was black. First US ambassador to the United Nations, black. Andrew Young said, I learned more to prepare me to be the ambassador to the United Nations outside of my classroom than I did inside. How's that possible, Diego? Come on, you gotta think. Think. How? This is where I can sit down. How did he learn more to prepare him to be the ambassador to the United Nations outside of the classroom than he did inside. How? Oh, by the way, anybody want to help Diego? Experience. Hmm? Experience. Experience. Anybody here, their family is from uh, South Asian background, for example. Anybody here, Arab background? Any who are African background? So you see, you now are sitting in the United Nations. Some of you, uh, years to come, you will be the people that will be the experts who have the relationships, who have the understandings to be able to solve the world's problems because of your perspective. But alhamdulillah, it will happen often outside of the classroom, not inside. It will happen in the musallam. It will happen at the MSA dinner. It will happen in the mountains when you're taking the, the, the trip there. It's not for the law. You didn't have the sisters take you to the mountains. <laughs> but alhamdulillah, <laughs> the great power comes from the power of your relationship in the Ladina Amano with Allah and Amal Salihat, the work that you will do together to transform and build the society. Thank you so much. May Allah continue to bless you. Have a great academic year.